Hello, my name is Randy Lenz. I am a product specialist at April Air, and we're here today to go over our new dehumidifier line. We're going to go through all the different changes that we've made to the dehumidifier, product improvements, installation, how to set it up, and maintenance of the unit. Okay, so this is our model 1830 whole home dehumidifier. This is a 70 pint dehumidifier, 70 pint per day, five pints larger than the unit that it's replacing. The cabinet size stayed the same. We have a 14 and a half inch high cabinet, 12 and a half inch wide, and 25 inches long. Uh, the 1850 also is going to be our new unit. It's 95 pint, five pints larger than the unit that it replaced. And uh, it'll, be the, it'll be the same height, same width, but it'll be two inches longer. It'll be 27 inches long instead of 25. But nice, small, compact unit. Uh, one of the major changes to all the units going down the road is going to be a positive pressured cabinet. The, design, the positive pressured cabinet gives us a couple of things. It gives us the ability to remove the P-trap, no longer having a P-trap, and we can go directly with three-quarter inch PVC into the drain or use our adapter that we ship to take us down to vinyl tubing. It also allows us to discharge all the air out the back of the unit or out of the top. This plate can be taken off the top, moved to the back, and then you can have the uh, discharge come out of the top if we're going up into the HVAC equipment. We also have a, a built-in digital control on here and a bunch of new features within the control. All the units will ship with 10-inch round duct collars. Now these duct collars are designed for flex duct or hard pipe. They have little retainers on here, so we're using flex duct with a zip tie that it doesn't have any way to slide off. It holds it in place better. The 10-inch uh, round duct also allows us to have better airflow and really quiets the unit down a lot. This is the quietest 70 pint dehumidifier you're going to find on the market. We've designed it to be as quiet or quieter than the HVAC equipment. The unit is uh, Energy Star rated. We have MERV 8 filter with a filter access doors on both sides of the cabinet. That MERV 8 filter is a washable, reusable filter, it also can be replaced. We've uh, improved on the feet of the unit, the leveling feet, to make them a lot stronger. Um, big plastic feet on there that are very strong. And we've e-coated the coil for corrosion resistance. Now I'm going to re remove this uh, side panel. If we could keep this panel, this side with the drain, open for service, that would be the best because that's where everything that we should need to get to is. So I'm going to remove that panel. Okay, that's the last screw, and then we'll remove this whole side panel. We can remove this piece of insulation. And now you can see the internal components. You can see our, our blower wheel in here. It's an impeller type wheel. The coil with the E-coating on it. This is a cap tube design. Now on this side here we have the electrical panel and you can see we have a nice diagram that shows you how the electrical schematic and I'll take the one screw off here. And you can see all the components are, are readily accessible. The run capacitor for the compressor, the transformer and circuit board are all in here readily accessible for you to, to service. Everything is labeled real nicely so you know where which wires go in the frost sensor, high temperature, cutout, fan, compressor, all those are nicely labeled. All the terminals that we use now, all the connection are a Molex type connection that have a positive engagement so they click into place so they can't rattle free in shipping or anything else. They'll hold nice and tight. So on the model 1830, this unit has the ability, you know, you can use the cord that comes with to, to power it up or you can remove this cord and grommet and actually use conduit to hardwire for applications that require, some applications and codes require the unit be hardwired. This unit has a dual listing um, uh, with UL and ETL that it can be uh, hardwired or um, plugged in with a cord. So you can remove the cord and directly connect to the terminal blocks. Now we're going to go over the installation of this product and one of the things that you'll notice is we ship this unit with a shipping retainer around the compressor to keep the compressor nice and tight and does not a lot of movement during shipment. So we're going to remove this strap that's on here. And you may need a pair of pliers to pull it off of there.
and this can be discarded as well. It's just a retainer. Okay, then I'm going to go ahead and attach the discharge collar. Again, this discharge collar can go here, or this plate can be moved down and the collar can go up here for a top discharge when you get up tight against the wall or go underneath the equipment. So we'll attach that with the screws that shipped with it. Okay, there are five screws on this collar, and then on the inlet collar there are four screws. Once we get the duct collars attached to the unit and we've decided where to put it, we're going to make sure that we, that we level it, make sure it's level side to side and front to back. Now we're just going to talk about ducting a little bit. Uh, these units are, are designed uh, to go against some static pressure, but we do recommend that you duct it return to return, that you pull air from the return upstream and discharge the air downstream near the HVAC equipment. We're also going to wire in the fan circuit and we'll talk about that um, later. But we do recommend return to return is our best application. You can go from return, pull air from the return, and discharge into the supply duct as well. But we want to stay under four tenths of an inch of static pressure when doing that. Okay, again, these units are designed for flex duct or for hard pipe. So we can just take some standard flex duct and we can attach it to the unit. I did not show on there, but we do have little retainers right here that will help hold that flex duct on there with a zip tie. Now let's talk about the drain. Again, these are positive pressure cabinets, so there's no need for a P-trap. This uh, drain connection, you can glue in three quarter inch PVC pipe right in there and, uh, and use that directly out of there. Or if you want to use half inch vinyl tubing, we have a little glued in piece that you can insert there and then you'll have a threaded barbed fitting for half inch PVC pipe. So you can do either, either option. Now for electrical connections, uh, one, this, we have a little rocker switch here, a little on-off rocker switch, and the cord that plugs into a standard 15 amp outlet. This unit draws 6.3 amps, so we don't require a dedicated, 15, uh, dedicated circuit, just a lightly loaded 15 amp circuit with no other appliances on it. You should check with local codes to make sure that there's nothing else that they require. Okay, all the units ship with this digital control on the top of the unit. The digital control can be moved to the front. This plate comes off and this can, you take the filter access door out, stick your hand in, let the control fall down on it and remove this and just bring it right to the front and put the screws back in. So you can move it to the front if that's easier, like in an attic installation when you're up close to the ceiling or whichever way you need it to be. Underneath, we have some uh, information on here for the homeowner. Underneath here, we also have our 800 number and all the diagnostic codes if there's anything that would be happening with the unit that will show up on the screen. You'll see the E1 through E9 and you would see those codes on here if there happens to be any diagnostic work that needs to be done. The, on the circuit board here the wiring terminal blocks removed to make it easy for install to get out and, and put the wires in and then plug them back into place. Uh, there's only, as you can see, we moved, removed all the dip switches that we had on our other units and we have one switch here and that NO or NC is for normally open or normally closed contacts. That's for control options. There's one or two companies out there that have a, a control that uses a normally closed contact. Um, everybody else uses it like us uses a normally open. So that's the only switch left. We have connection for the float switch, connection for external control, remote control, and we'll talk about the differences. Outdoor sensor, vent damper and DH damper terminals and our connection to the HVAC equipment. We talked about before that we want to do return to return as our most common application. and We want to have that fan energized during that process. So we're going to wire the R and the C to R and C of the HVAC equipment. We're going to bring our G from the thermostat to here, G out of the control back to the HVAC equipment, and then W and Y. When installing the dehumidifier, you need to decide whether you're going to use the onboard control that ships with the unit here or whether you want an offboard control. April Air offers the Model 76 control that can be used as an external or remote control, and I'll explain the differences there. We also have our Model 8620 IAQ thermostat with dehumidification built into it. And we have our 8910 home comfort control, which can also control the dehumidifier. Like I said, the dehumidifier can be controlled with this Model 76 as a 76 as a remote control or as an external control. 
It's a little bit confusing, but when you talk about external control, we're, we're taking the control completely away from the dehumidifier and controlling it externally. So you would put this out on the living space, out in the, in the living space on the wall and have the unit ducted to the home and we're conditioning the inside of the home and we're controlling it from this external control on the wall. Now, if we have an application where we're dehumidifying outside of the building envelope, like a crawl space, or maybe a spray foamed attic, and we want to have control inside of the house, we can use this control as a remote control. And as a remote control, it doesn't disable this internal control, it works with it. They communicate back and forth, so we can actually send a set point down to the crawl space, and the, and the unit will respond and dehumidify to that set point. This control will take an RH reading of the crawl space and send that back up here and have it displayed on the screen. So we can, we work back and forth. If any of those diagnostic codes that I showed before appear on the screen, they would also appear on here. So very nice for those areas when we're outside of the envelope and we want to know how to run the unit and how it's working when we're inside the building envelope. Okay, so we're going to talk about the control here a little bit more. Uh, when using the onboard control, and for most applications, if we're uh, we will just be able to walk up to the control, turn it on, and set our set point and walk away and not have to do anything else. But if we're going to um, enable some of our features that we have or use external control, we'll need to get into the setup menu. To enter the setup menu, the first thing that we want to do is any button push of this turns on the light. And from the off position, we have to be in the off position, if we hold the mode button down for three seconds, we will go into the installer setup menu. Now remember I said we could use the Model 76 as a remote control for like controlling the dehumidifier when it's in a crawl space or a spray foamed attic. And we can select that here. It, it sets up as disabled, comes, that's how it comes from the factory, and we can turn that on if we choose to, to have that option. And once we select that, that's going to be our only option. So I'm going to say no, we're not going to do that and I'm going to go to the next setup. This unit actually has the ability to tie in a fresh air damper from the outside. We can tie in a 6 inch or 8 inch round damper to the inlet, tee that into the inlet or Y it into the inlet and bring in fresh air. This unit, when doing ventilation, this unit will actually open up the normally closed damper to the outside of the house and draw in air through the unit by pulling it in with its own blower and monitor that incoming air. We have the ability, once we say that we're, we're going to select that and say we want to have ventilation, the first thing, it, the first thing it, uh, it's going to ask us if we want to do vent timed. Vent timed would be like our ASHRAE timed. If we're doing it per code and we have to have so many minutes in an hour, no matter what, what happens, that's what it will be. We also have the ability to set this up in our Auto B, Auto C, and Auto D modes. If you're familiar with our Model 8126A ventilation system, this has the exact same parameters as that. The vent B, C, and D give us outdoor temperature parameters, so if it's too hot or too cold, we will not ventilate. And when doing that, we'll come over here and we'll tie in an outdoor temperature sensor to this control so we'll know what that outdoor temperature is. So we can select that, or again, we can just have it be vent timed if we want to follow more of an ASHRAE type standard. So I'm going to leave it as vent timed. It's going to ask me how many minutes of ventilation and I can adjust that up and down all the way up to 60 minutes and that's how much ventilation we're going to provide per hour. The next thing is it gives, asks us if we're going to do zoning. This unit we can actually tee in two inlets and two outlet ducts and do two different areas. We can do an application may be like a basement, a, a finished basement that we want to dehumidify and we also want to tie into the ductwork uh, to do whole home dehumidification. So we can enable zoning if we want it or not. The next thing now comes up and says are we using an external control? So if we're using any type of an external control, including the 76 wired as an external control, we would select that here and we can enable that or leave it disabled. Okay. The next new feature that we've added to this, we've had contractors that ask us uh, a way to disable the dehumidifier when the air conditioner is on. They don't want them running together for whatever reason. So we set, we set that from the factory as being 
um, enabled, so it says DEH, dehumidify with AC enabled. So if you say that together, it means the dehumidifier will run with the air conditioner. But if we choose not to do that, we can disable it and now the dehumidifier with AC has been disabled and the dehumidifier will shut off every time the air conditioner comes on. We have another device that we think is, is uh, we want to match the two devices to match together. This has a plus or minus 5% um, RH offset. And just like our thermostats, when we get to the last thing, it says done. All right, once you get the unit completely installed and you want to, we want to turn the unit on, anytime you turn the unit on when we're using the internal control, it's going to take an air sample, or any time that you increase the set point, it'll take an automatic air sample. Our sensor is inside underneath this cover, so we have to measure the air coming through. So we turn the unit on, just like our other units, for three minutes to uh, sample that air. And at the end of three minutes, we decide, yes, we need to have dehumidification, or no, we don't. So we'll turn the compressor on, or we'll shut off, and then every hour we'll continue to sample until we do need to run. So I'm going to actually turn the unit on so you can hear how quiet the 1830 is. You may or may not be able to hear a whole lot on the audio here, but, but we'll give it a shot. The unit runs very quiet. Um, once, if at the end of the three minute sample, if the compressor comes on, you can hear the compressor initially start, but after that, you can't even hear the compressor running. It is very quiet. There you have it April Air's upgraded dehumidifier line, including higher capacity moisture removal in a smaller, quieter unit. Positive pressure designed cabinet allows you to convert the intake collar from either the back or to the top and eliminates the need for a P-trap. Onboard control with flexible uh, remote control options. You can offer ventilation incorporated with dehumidification as an option. And we boast an industry leading five year warranty with our E-coated coil and robust components. With these new enhancements, you can now offer high capacity, whole home dehumidification in more applications than ever before. Remember to ask your April Air District Sales Manager for detailed instructions and be sure to follow all written instructions and wiring diagrams for each application. Mm -hmm.